I know that this is common sense. And most uh, most of you are aware of this, but obviously, if you if you seat a handle back into a head, uh, back through a head, then you're going to have to also push the wedge back into the eye, the opposite direction. So whatever distance, for instance, I've I've pushed this handle a little over a sixteenth of an inch back out through the head I'm gonna to have to reseat this wood wedge a little bit because essentially by by pushing the handle this way you're basically lifting the wedge or pulling the, the mechanical function of the wedge out of the eye again so you're gonna to have to seat that and so what I like to do for that is I like to keep old handles and uh, just cut various chunks off I just cut this end off here and and I use the uh, Use a little tomahawk to uh, to shape this drift the exact shape I need for this wedge. Instead of trying to kind of you know just find something in my toolbox that's close, I can actually make something exact by hanging on to materials and um, using them later. So just want to show you that it's a good thing to have. Always keep your axe handles if they're if the wood's in decent shape. And uh, keep them as long as possible until you need to trim a piece off of it. You know, I don't know what I may need to use this as a big long drift for, or maybe a bit of a you know a hardwood lever. So, in the meantime, I've made these two drifts in order to be able to drive this wedge the way I need to drive it.